today in the um, studio I'm starting to make the skirt for my design, Dina. Skirt fabric, this is just the toile, it would all be an ivory. The top is tulle and the bottom is a crepe back satin and then they're both ruched and sewn together and obviously it will go all the way around. Well, I've got the satin part of the skirt here, which is the under part which the tulle sits on. Put my side seams together, so right sides together, pin down the seams on both sides and then machine. When I pin, I always start from the top and then work down because actually with silk, even though you try and match up your notches, you've got to sort of let the silk guide you where it wants to sit. Because what you don't want is the seam, if you match up all your notches and then you have to ease the silk in, what you don't want is the seam to be all wobbly. Now I'm just machining up the side seams. I'm using 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. When machining, don't pull your silk. Ease the fabric underneath the machine. Give your seam a press. I press my seams together and towards the back of the skirt because I'm actually going to overlock these. So this is my overlocker. It neatens off the edge of your seam but it's also got a cutting device on it as well so you've got to be really careful you don't leave any of the other bit of the skirt underneath this bit because you'll cut a hole in it and I have done that before and it's an absolute nightmare. I'm actually only overlocking the last um, two thirds of the skirt. That's the crepe section of the skirt made up. Don't worry if the ends look like that. I'd much rather have some excess which I can chop off in the hem than a bobbly seam. Now I need to sew up the tool. So this is a bit of a nightmare to deal with because it's so like cobwebs. I can't pin this fabric together. So I'm just going to do it all on the machine. I'm going to put my side seams together and then take it to the machine and work it out when I'm on there. I've got my side seams together under the machine and I'm just going to have to place them together whilst sewing. Press the seam flat using the ham. So I've just sewn the other side seam and now I'm giving that a press and I'm leaving these raw edges just as they are. I'm not putting any finish or anything on them because I just love the, I love it how it looks like that. And you, what you don't want is a whole line of overlocking, which you can see because it would just look really ugly. So I've just um, crudely pinned on the silk. And this is the lining for Dina so you can kind of understand what it's going to look like and I'm just going to put this tool on which is just, look at it, it's just amazing. I love this fabric. So all of this is gonna get ruched together like, like the sample. That now is my next step.